Hi, this is Joe from Joe's Internet Marketing and we're working on our new website that we're putting together. Um, we've got a default WordPress install and we're at a point now where we need some content. Now, you have several choices when it comes to content. You can write your own content. You can use PLR content and rewrite it. You can use PLR content and just post the PLR content as as you have it it'll be duplicate content but you can do that and it'll give you some content for your site or you can go out to the article directories find an article that you like and post it on your site so a lot of people are used to using article directories to put articles to post articles out there in order to get backlinks to their sites uh, but a lot of people don't necessarily use the articles um, that are out there on the article article directories on for use on their websites and you know that's what these articles are for these articles are really for you to take and put on your website and augment the content that you have on your website there's nothing wrong with using the articles that are out on the article directories yeah it's duplicate content yeah there's some links that are in there that are going to point back to um, to someone else's website but this is the trade-off that you're that you get for having free content you get some free content um, and you pay back by throwing a little link juice to the author. Uh, so you have a choice. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. So for what we're going to do for this, for our new website, we're, we're going to go out to the article directories and we're going to grab an article off the article directories. Now I have to admit, I recorded this entire segment and all of a sudden my computer crashed. And so I'm a little upset so I have to re-record this. But um, we're going to do this again just so you can see. So we're going to go out to uh, easy and articles. Um, and I'm going to look for bass guitar. And we search through easy articles and we, there's a bunch of really good articles under bass guitar. Now I'm going to use this, this top one here. Best online bass guitar lessons. Now when you, when you pull up the article, you'll, you can read through the article. It's pretty good. It's got a pretty good resource box. And it's actually posted up here by Yuen Chia, who is uh, a well-known internet marketer. So that's kind of funny. Um, now, what you want to do in order to grab this, the best way to do it is scroll down here, and there's this box down here that says "Share this article." Come over here to this link that says "Ezine Publisher." Click on it, and it's going to give you a different view of the article. Uh, it'll show you some of the keywords that are in the article and the keyword density for those keywords within the article. Um, Ezine provides two different versions that you can use. You can either use a plain text version and it's got some of these brackets in there or you can use the HTML version. I personally I like the HTML version a little bit better uh, because it's it's got all the code in there already uh, already added for me. So I'm going to, I'm not going to when you click in this window it's automatically going to highlight you can just do a control C or you can right click and say copy and then what we're going to do is we're going to come back to our our admin panel within our website and we're going to say add new post and just click on this add new what I want to do is I want to click on the HTML tab make sure you're in the HTML view and just going to control V and paste it into the window now before you save you want to highlight this HTML, head tag, and body tag, and you want to delete that. And then scroll down to the bottom and then remove the closing body and closing HTML tag. You don't want that in there because that can really screw up your WordPress. You've already got it. Uh, you already have your HTML tag and all that. WordPress is going to put all that in there for you so you don't need it. Now what we want to do is we want to add a title. You can add the same title as the author but what I like to do is I like to add my own title um, just to provide at least a little bit of uniqueness for the article on my website so the title is uh, best online guitar lesson so I'm going to use online I'm going to use uh, let's see bass guitar lessons um, finding the best online I just changed that up a little bit. <clears throat> bass guitar lessons. The keyword is bass guitar lessons. At least that's the keyword that I'm going to try and make sure that I get uh, a little focus on. And then uh, finding the best online. Okay. So now what we ha once we have that, we can flip back over to the visual mood mode. Sorry. Um, the next thing I want to do is see this little 
weird button here on the end. I click that and it drops down a whole other list of buttons. I want to highlight this entire article and this button here I'm going to say fully aligned. Notice how the ending of all these lines are kind of jagged. I want to neaten that up and you can neaten that up by clicking this button. This will fully justify both your left margin and your right margin to kind of make it look a little bit neater. So once we've done that, um, you know, you can maybe bold this out a little bit and give yourself a little bit of a um, little bit of formatting. But um, for the most part, we're good to go. Uh, and I can save a draft. Now you notice here, it gives gives a number, and then finally WordPress will finally give the full URL. I personally I like to edit this just to make sure that we're focusing on my keyword phrase I just shorten that up to be best guitar lessons bass guitar lessons sorry and then save the draft um, you can preview it now uh, or publish it I'm just gonna hit publish it's a brand new website nobody's nobody's looking at it so I come back to the front of my website I click refresh and there's my image or there's my article so the next thing I would want to do is personally what I like to do with my articles <clears throat> is I like to add a little, um, I like to add an image. So what I'll do is I'll probably go out back out to uh, the stock exchange, which was sxc.hu, and grab me some, uh, grab me some, boy that's some really good English there, and grab some, uh, an image, well, let's do that now, let's, let's look at bass guitars, let's see if we can grab another image. Oh, these images are gonna be really big. Um, I'm gonna have to edit them. What you do is you can go back out here, look for some more images um, see this one here make sure you're at sxc.hu um, that's not a bad image you know what I can do is let's save this picture just like that um, save it to my desktop just base head that'll be fine save let's go back over my post I'm going to see this little thing here add an image WordPress has come a long way for making it a much more media friendly. So from my computer, I'm going to select a file. It's on my desktop. Uh, it's called base head. Open. There it is. It's open. Um, it's 220 by 300. That's not a bad size. I'm going to left justify it. Click insert into post. And there's my there's my image. Boy, that looks pretty good. Look at that. And then click update. And then come back over here, refresh my main page. And there you go. Look at that. That looks pretty darn good. And this is just with the default setting for uh, for WordPress. Okay, so that's about it for adding articles. You can keep doing this. Find yourself some PLR. Write some content yourself. And uh, the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to go over some plugins for WordPress and uh, finish up our WordPress install. This is Joe for joesinternetmarketing.com. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.